Today we will discuss a short topic that is not only related to thyroid disorder of pregnancy but also to the hyperemesis gravidarum and the name of that topic is transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum. So what is it? Transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum is a self-limiting condition with hyperthyroidism occurring in some cases of hyperemesis gravidarum means some patient comes with excessive vomiting or hyperemesis gravidarum and when the thyroid functions are checked in them we find that these levels are quite raised and this is called thhg when does transit hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum results usually the patient asks this question so you have to tell that it usually results by 18 weeks of pregnancy with the return of normal thyroid function tests. And how common is the transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarium? This might be responsible for about 40 to 70 percent of thyroid function abnormalities in pregnancy. And what is the etiology of the HSG means what is the cause of this problem? Elevated gonadotrophins have thyrotrophic activity means there is lower DSH and raised T4 and that causes the transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum. Now what is the most important feature to differentiate transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum from the true hyperthyroidism? And the answer is negative thyroid receptors and T bodies tighter. Now, there must be a tool to differentiate this condition from the Graves disease as well. So, what different, what factor differentiate transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum from Graves disease? The answer is, although a negative past history and the absence of clinical signs of hyperthyroidism is also useful to exclude the Graves disease, the thyroid antibody tests are still essential to confirm the absence of Graves disease. And what is the treatment of transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum? The answer is, transient hyperthyroidism of hyperemesis gravidarum doesn't require any specific treatment except the usual treatment for hyperemesis. So you can give antibiotics to these patients along with the proper counseling and telling the basic nature, the basic cause of this problem, along with the proper follow-up and repeat tests after 18 weeks for the patient's reassurance. And that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to complete it with these golden words. When you take risks, sometimes you fail and sometimes you're successful and both are equally important. It's because failure is not opposite of success, it's just a part of it. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.